Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Savannah and here I love to talk about the fun side of minimalism and intentional living. One area of my life that I am truly trying to be more intentional with are my shopping habits. I have a running shopping list that has been building over the past few months and I have been doing everything in my power to resist the urge just to Amazon Prime it all. Let's be real, Amazon is almost always the fastest, easiest way to get what we want, but it's not the most sustainable or intentional. And a lot of times price-wise, it's more than I actually would spend in store. So what I'm going to do today is bring you with me an attempt to thrift my Amazon shopping cart. Before we head out to the thrift stores, I wanted to walk you through my shopping list so you know what we are looking for. Let's start with number one. It is a strainer slash colander. Number two is a pitcher slash vase. I want a really tall, either glass or ceramic one. Number three is a coffee mug. Recently, one of ours chipped. Number three is kitchen tongs. Ours broke recently. We've been without for a few weeks and have just been using <laughs> chopsticks to flip things in the frying pan. So definitely in need of some tongs. Number four is a corkscrew slash bottle opener. Number six is art for my son's nursery. We recently moved him into his own room and it's a little blank in there. So number seven is actually art for this wall over here in my room. That's where my son's crib was and I don't have anything over there right now. Number eight are some baby board books. I'm a little burnt out on the current stories so I'd like to mix it up. Number nine is a book for myself. I have not read an actual book in a hot minute. I do a lot of audiobooks on the Libby app and also listen to podcasts, but fall's coming. I just want to cozy up by the fire. In my case, it's a fire playing on Netflix on my television. And last but not least, number 10, which seems like it'd be really simple to come by, but for some reason it hasn't been for me, is a singular plastic cup. I'm looking for a cup to rinse my son's hair during bath time. If you look on Amazon or Target, they sell them in big packs, but I only need one. Can I find everything on my list? I have no idea. <laughs> so let's head to the thrift store and find out. My first stop is the Habitat for Humanity Restore. They have hardware, building supplies, furniture, and a little bit of decor. I find that a lot of the donated items and items for sale come from more of a commercial space or a company. You'll often find one thing in a really high volume. For instance, these really nice textured pillowcases. There are a ton of them. And what I come for is the furniture and decor. Prices aren't as sweet as a Goodwill or a Salvation Army, but what you get here is a far greater selection and variety. Definitely digging this art piece. It is $45. It's a nice frame, but it is just a print. It's not an actual painting, so I'm gonna think on this one. They have a ton of great wall art here today. I am loving the mirrors, especially this gold gilded one. Moving on over to these prints and paintings. Some of them are a bit homemade. Some are more Ikea Pier 1. And then there's some cool stuff in the middle of the mix. Next, I'm cruising over to the kitchenware. For mugs, they had some really kitschy, silly ones. This skiing goose, Circus Circus Las Vegas. Both really cute, but I don't have a personal anecdote with these mugs. These antique items are absolutely gorgeous and just really, really cool. These prices, again, are not Goodwill prices. They know the value of a lot of these items, but they do have a color sticker day. For instance, today, blue items are 50% off. So if there's something you really love, you could wait for the sale for that sticker and come back and get a deal on it. All right, time to hop on the road and head to stop number two. We are going to Salvation Army. And let me tell you, this is a massive salvo. I love this store because they have a huge selection of items. They have a lot of clothing, books, homeware. I love buying books secondhand. It just feels right to me. We used to always buy all of our books at thrift stores and Goodwills growing up. I love picking up a book and knowing that someone else has read it before, finding a personalized inscription in the cover or highlighted or underlined parts that had struck someone in the past. 
So I'm sifting, scanning through the books, seeing if any covers, authors, or titles jump out at me. It's super nostalgic getting to go through these children's books and discovering titles that I read as a child and also some new ones. <laughs> Next up, kitchenware, and wow, do they have a big selection. Looking for my colander, pitcher, tongs, and my bath cup. I'm finding quite a few things that I think will maybe work. This wooden rocking horse is probably my favorite find. My son had fun rocking out, but I don't have a ton of space for this at my house, and I feel like this is more of a one-hit wonder type of gift. I'm not shopping for clothes today, but I'll always do a quick once over. I feel like if an item's really meant for you, then it will call your name and draw your attention. So that's what I'm doing here is just a quick little scan, seeing if there's any fabrics or colors or prints that really catch my eye. Gotta love a Salvo Carrie Bradshaw moment. Zipping over to the Goodwill. This is a super small location, and honestly, I haven't had a ton of luck here in the past, but it's super close to the Salvo, so I'm gonna see if the thrifting gods have anything in store for me here. When I'm thrifting, I'm always keeping my eyes out for more organic or natural or woven items. Baskets are such a great thrift store find. Also placemats, there were some really nice placemats here today. These woven ones, and then also these beautiful Floral embroidered placemats are just so adorable. When it comes to mugs, it really has to be that sweet spot for me. I have to really like the color, the artistic decorative side of it, then also the size of it and its microwave ability. <laughs> Tony Tales jumped out at me. For some reason, I imagined this as <laughs> Tony Robbins, like advice or stories. <laughs> That's not what this is. I have no idea what this book is. And here's one of my favorite books, Naked by David Sedaris. He is my absolute number one favorite author. If you haven't read his work, if you enjoy very dark humor, you will just adore him. I came across this rogue pair of sandals in the record section and they're Ferks. Fake Ferks. Next, I made my way over to Toy Safari on the hunt for some baby books. Honestly, I've avoided this store in the past just because it's really loud and kind of overwhelming, but I was surprised to find that when I went inside, they had so many cool old toys, used toys. It was really nostalgic. My favorite moment was coming across this Barbie. If you don't recognize her, you guys, this is Sporty Spice. I know she's not dressed like Sporty Spice, but I could find her face anywhere. This store had a great selection of children's board books, so many classics, and I found a couple to take home. On my way home from the thrift stores, I spotted a garage sale sign and it just felt like a sign, so I had to stop. I didn't film up close at the garage sale just because it was just me and the garage sale host, but I did end up finding two things on my list. Good morning, it's the next day and I'm waking up on a thrifter's high. I made out pretty good yesterday. I got six out of my 10 items, which I feel like is pretty legit given that thrifting is just a total game of chance. But of the four items left on my list, two of them are very essential to my daily life. Number one, kitchen tongs, and number two, a corkscrew slash bottle opener. And so I took matters into my own hands and created an ask post on my local Buy Nothing Facebook group. And bam, a sweet soul, a local neighbor posted that she had both of the items and I just picked them up an hour ago. All right, let me walk you through all of my finds. I'm super stoked on them. I'm gonna start with my Buy Nothing group finds that I just picked up, which are my corkscrew and my tongs. 
the corkscrew bottle opener. It's super sturdy, super legit, and just exactly what I was looking for. A pair of tongs, metal with some silicone. They're lovely, they work great. And both of these were free. That's the beauty of a buy nothing group. I love being part of that community. It's just such an amazing way to get rid of things you don't need anymore and to pick up things you do need without spending money and always buying something brand new. Staying in the kitchen zone, next up I have this colander. This is exactly what I was looking for. I found this guy at the garage sale. It was a bit dirty when I found it, a little bit rusty and worn, but I took to it with some Dawn soap, an abrasive sponge, and it's good as new. And then I also got this plastic cup for my son's bath at the garage sale. It's just exactly what I was looking for. I like that it's a bit translucent so I can see if it gets dirty or grimy, and it's also pretty tall, tall for a small cup so I can get a good pour going. So really excited about these guys together. These were $3, mostly because I only had $3 cash on me and asked if they take three bucks and they said yes. So definitely a score on these guys. Next time jumping into books, I found a novel for myself. I'm really excited about it. It is called Like a Hole in the Head and it's by Jen Banbury. I was really drawn to the cover and then I opened the first page and just started reading and it sounded enthralling enough. It says, I woke up with a hangover and roof tar on my feet and a vague recollection of pacing around up there half the night. After a shower and two bowls of Captain Crunch, I really felt like crap. I could relate to those lines. <laughs> Next we have two more books. These are board books, baby books for my son, and I got them both at Toy Safari. These books were $3 and $2. Also, my novel was $1.99, so great prices on these books. This one's a classic, Go Dog Go. It is just so fun. I love the illustrations. It's super simple, and I feel like very universal and timeless, the story, so I don't know if you have kids or not, but I just have one kid. I'm a new mom, and so, I'm really excited about good books that I enjoy reading right now. And then this book, I've never heard of it before. The title, I guess, is just kind of stating the obvious. Time for Bed. The illustrations and rhymes in this are super, super sweet. Okay, this is a good one. It's time for bed, little foal, little foal. I'll whisper a secret, but don't tell a soul. They're so sweet. So yeah, go through all these little animals. You have to have the right combo of illustrations and rhyme are just a good story. And this one is definitely a feel good, sweet one for bedtime. So. Really excited about my new board books. Next up is the item I'm probably the most excited about and was very, very surprised to find, which is my picture. You guys, oh, I found this beautiful, tall, thin glass picture. It was only $3.99 from Salvation Army. And I have been looking for a vase picture like this for probably six months now. I've seen a few like this at Crate and Barrel and Williams Sonoma, but the prices were just not what I wanted to pay and I really wanted to get one used. So when I saw this in Salvo, I was just absolutely delighted. I'm planning to serve iced tea in here, also to put a cocktail in here when we have a few friends over, and then to put some smaller bouquets with long stems. I think it looks very, very just timeless and sleek and farmhouse yet modern. So, so excited for this one. And the very last item that I picked up, it's a sentimental one to me, is art for my son's nursery. I have been looking for something for his room for months now. I wanted something a bit colorful, a little bit eclectic, but unfortunately I didn't find what I was looking for at the thrift stores. I was feeling a little bummed, a little defeated, and then life happened, serendipity. We went over to a friend's house later that evening after thrifting, and guess what? They gave us a painting for my son's first birthday. It has bright, vivid, bubbly colors, and it's just absolutely perfect. It's just so, so much more special that it's actually personalized and made by a friend. You guys, I don't have time to thrift 100% of the things that I need, but seriously, when I make the time to shop intentionally and get out there to secondhand stores, I love the experience. It is just so fun. Please let me know in the comments what was your greatest thrift find ever. It can be something really fun and silly, or it could be something just really practical or utilitarian in your life that you use every day. Thanks again for hanging with me. I will catch you guys next week. And if you liked today's video, please give it a like. It really helps my channel and subscribe. I'd love to have you. Have a fun day, you guys. Bye.